Gertrude Mbeyo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Arise to ask question 031 of 2024 to the Cabinet Secretary for Gender, Culture, the Arts and Heritage. One, could the Cabinet Secretary explain the reason for significant reduction, reduction. in the allo reduction in the allocation of the National Government Affirmative Action Fund (GAF) in the financial year 2023-2024 budget for its projects across the 47 counties, from 1 billion to. 870 million. Question two, Mr. Speaker, could the Cabinet Secretary provide details on the qualifications of the NGAF Fund Board members and how their selection for appointment to the board reflects the diversity of these 47 counties. Three, Mr. Speaker, could the Cabinet Secretary outline the role of the Cabinet Secretary in the recruitment process of the county coordinators and clarify the circumstances that led to the appointment of an individual from Kilifi County as the Kwale coordinator. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, since uh, inception of NGAF in 2014-2015, the allocation has been Kenya shillings to point one three billion which is apportioned to counties based on the regulations 2016. This is to clarify that as per the presidential directive to the national treasury uh, with a reference number uh, SHGM 3 volume 141 the NGAF budgetary allocation uh, for financial year 2023-2024 was increased to 3 billion Kenya shillings. This translates to an increase of Kenya shillings 870 million in the fund allocation and not a reduction as per the Honorable Member question. This is meant to reach more women, youth, and persons with disabilities, most of whom are the lowest economic, uh, at the lowest of the economic pyramid to improve their livelihood for sustainable development. And His Excellency, uh, the President, uh, continue to pledge for more allocation in the future as the, econo as the economy improves to reach more beneficiaries. On the second question, uh, Mr. Speaker, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund is governed by Public Finance Management Act 2012 and the provisions of legal notice number 52 published on 1st April 2016 as the Public Finance Management National Government Affirmative Action Fund Regulation 2016, the NGAF regulations. The fund is a product of our constitution in support of the government commitments to put in place measures to redress past disadvantages among certain segments of our population. It is also anchored on the Vision 2030 development uh, blueprint and a social pillar to address the plight of vulnerable groups through uh, enhanced access to
to financial facility for social economic empowerment among women, youth, persons with disability, needy children, and elderly persons in the community. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it also provides an avenue for promotion of enterprise and value um, addition initiatives. The fund is managed by a board established under Regulation 8, comprising of the following persons, Mr. Speaker. A chairperson appointed by the Cabinet Secretary responsible for matters relating to gender affairs from among the persons appointed under sub, uh, uh, paragraph E, which I will read, and B, Mr. Speaker, the principal secretary in the ministry responsible for matters relating to gender affairs, C, the principal secretary to national treasury, D, the principal secretary in the ministry of uh, responsible for social security services, and uh, one person to represent persons uh, living with uh, disabilities appointed by cabinet secretary re responsible for matters relating to gender affairs one person uh, and uh, yeah one person to represent youth and uh, three other persons appointed by the cabinet secretary res responsible for matters relating to gender affairs for their knowledge of uh, or uh, expertise in affirmative action and the chief executive officer who shall be the secretary of the board. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the regulation further provides the following as qualification for appointment as a board member in GAF. A, holds a degree in social science from a university recognized in Kenya, has at least five years experience in the relevant areas of expertise and meet the requirement of chapter six of the constitution. Mr. Speaker, the following are the qualification and counties for NGAF board members. The chair, Mr. Speaker, is Rachel Musioki Mbula, who has a master's in uh, human resource management and bachelor's in business administration, and she comes from Siaya County. Number two is Elena who has a master's in uh, economics, bachelor's uh, economics, and also bachelor's in economics, who is an alternate to the PS planning. She's from Kakamega. We have also Robert Osudi, who is also an alternate to PS National Treasury. She has master's of arts in, uh, in economics, bachelor's, and also has a bachelor's in economics. She also comes from Kakamega. We also have Samson Ogola from Homa Bay. Let me just, and then we have Joyce Mugure from Nakuru. We have Bendera Wilson from Kilifi and Sophie Ombachi from Nyamira, Mr. Speaker. And uh, we also have a representative for PWDs who is awaiting gazettement. Question three, Mr. Speaker. Um, with respect to the Secretariat of the County Committees and appointment of County Coordinator Coordinators, Regulation 18 of the NGAF Regulation provides... Yeah, Regulation 18, Mr. Speaker, the Secretariat of the County Committee says there shall be a Secretariat of the County Committee in each county which uh, shall consist of a County Coordinator appointed by the Board from relevant county. Two, the Officer of Secretariat shall be appointed through an open and competitive process 
And uh, from a reading of regulation uh, number 18 of the subject regulation, it is abundantly clear, Mr. Speaker, that county coordinators are recruited by the board and not the cabinet secretary, uh, Mr. Speaker. Further, the fund has a CEO of the fund who is appointed by the board under Regulation 17, who has a responsibility for operations of the fund and activities. And under Regulation 22 of NGAF regulation, board shall at least once in three months submit a report to Cabinet Secretary responsible for matters relating gender affairs and a copy of report to Parliamentary Committee responsible for matters relating affirmative action and social development. Uh, Mr. Speaker, under Regulation 22 of NGAF regulation, there is no legal obligation on, part, on, on the part of NGAF board to report to the Cabinet Secretary for Gender Affairs on recruitment appointment of the Secretariat of the County Committee. As a Cabinet Secretary, under the law then, Mr. Speaker, there is no... Um, as a, as a cabinet secretary under the law, Mr. Speaker, I do not participate in the appointment of county coordinators as that is the responsibility of the board. My simple role, Mr. Speaker, is to constitute part of the membership of the board by, the, uh, by appointing some members uh, thereof, Mr. Speaker. And uh, be that as it may, Mr. Speaker, I reasonably believe that the appointment of coordinators in question, which was done by the board, must have done through uh, an open and competitive process in restrict conformity with the Constitution in accordance with the requirement of, among other laws, the Public Service Commission Act 2017, the Public Service Commission Regulations 2020, the Public Service Values and Principles Act 2015, and the Human Resource Instruments approved by the Public Service Commission, Mr. Speaker.